Dear students, myself Shweta Gandhi, Department of Pharmacognosy, LJ Institute of Pharmacy. Today, in our practical tutorial series, we are going to learn about the new practical. The object is to perform the morphology, microscopy and powder characteristics of the given drug sample. Drug sample may be different, but today we are doing for the drug sample cinnamon. Okay, move towards the moving towards the practical. First, let us clear that what we have to study in this practical. First is morphological character means the appearance. Morphological character means what are the physical characteristics of the drug, organized drug. Next is the microscopical character. In this, we going we are going to study about the transfer section TS. We will cut the TS. We'll observed in the microscope and we will see the entire specific characters of the cinnamon. Third one is the powder characteristics of the cinnamon. For any drug sample, first you need to learn the morphology. So let us explain you the morphology of cinnamon. See this cinnamon is the biological source is obtained from the bark of the cinnamomum xylenicum and family is Lauraceae. This you are seeing this cinnamon is having the short fracture. This I am telling you and explaining you the morphology. This is having the short fracture, sweet in taste, aromatic in order and the what is the another characteristics of the cinnamon? They are in the form of single squills. Okay, so this is the morphology and one more thing it is darker from the inner side as compared to the outer side. So this is the morphology of the cinnamon. For doing microscopy any sample drug should be heat in water or chloral hydrate. We will take the sample like cinnamon we will add chloral hydrate we will heat it and then why we are heating it to make it soft after heating it we will take out the sample we will wash it with water and after washing it with water we will take the blade and with the using of blade please do remember that use the blade very carefully and blade should be wet with water so that the section cut should not be get dry and like this between the two fingers first finger second finger and the thumb we will take the section like this we will cut the section like this and we will cut 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 sections and we will keep these sections in the watch glass and watch glass should contain the water so that the section could not be dry. We will remove out the thick sections and we will select the thin section. Then we will take a clean slide. After this, this is the temporary slide we are preparing. After taking this clean slide, we will take one of the knives which is the thin section of the cinnamon we will take with the help of this spare and we will keep this and after this we will put some glycerin we will use the dropper for adding the glycerin we will take the glycerin here we will add glycerin here and then we will add the cover slip over it so that we are preparing the TS for cinnamon. We will keep the cover slip like this. Now the thing that you need to remember is the, the section which you have prepared should not contain the air bubble. If it contains the air bubble then what you will do? You will flip off the cover slip. You will add the water with the help of the dropper or the till the air bubble remove and then again hold the tube and drop the cover slip and then in this way we will observe the TS with the help of microscope for with doing proper setting in the microscope and we will observe like this at the different angle and sometimes we have to do staining also for the visibility of different characteristics or different cellular compounds or tissues of the drug sample. Staining can be done by different different method for proper staining procedure I have also do with the different staining and the preparation of section slides there you can see that how are 
Now coming to the second portion of practical per to perform the histological characters or the microscopy of the given drug sample and today we are using the drug sample as cinnamon. So in the microscopy of the cinnamon you can able to find all these characters plus please do remember sometimes when you can see the TS in the microscope some of these characters are not visible why what is the reason maybe the drug may be exhausted the drug did not contain the volatile oil then how the oil glands can be viewed no so the drug should be proper should be fresh in a good condition not in a deteriorate condition seeing towards the histological character of the cinnamon we have already prepared the TS in the first part now in the second we are going to learn what are the characters that we can view in the microscope after preparing the transverse section this is the bar that I have explained you that it is in a quill form and it is dark brown from the inside and it is aromatic in test now aromatic order again the characteristic going to the characteristic it contains the fibers and these fibers are lignified in nature then the sclerites are present in these sclerites parent cy um, cyclic fibers these sclerites are present now the medullary rays are the biseriate in nature we are telling that fibers are lignified in nature and medullary rays are biseriate in nature in these medullary rays you can able to see the starch grain and here you can see the calcium oxalate crystal in a dotted condition also there is a presence of phloem fibers phloem fibers and oil cells as you know that cinnamon contains the oil cinnamon is the the oil portion of the cinnamon due to which the oil cells can be visible in the ts of the bark cellular why this is called as the cellular structure or the organized structure because these all characteristics can be seen only in the organized or in the cellular structure so this is the microscopy or ts of the bark of cinnamon which contain what which which characteristics sclerites pericyclic fiber calcium oxalate crystals starch medullary rays which are biseriate in nature phloem fibers oil cells or we can say that oil gland coming to the powder characteristics of cinnamon for that we have to prepare a slide for the powder characteristics we'll take the powder of the cinnamon then with the help of the brush we'll take some powder we'll spread it on the glass slide we'll cover it with the cover slip and Please do remember that the powder will not spread on the sides of the tube and do not form any flocculs or the air bubbles. Now keep the cover slip over the slide and you can view under the microscope. After viewing under the microscope, the characteristics which you can see in the cinnamon are first is the phloem fibers. As we have seen in the TS also we can see the phloem fibers which are lignified in nature this this phloem fibers will look like this second characteristics is the stone cell these stone cells are generally horseshoe shape like structure these are the stone cells which are found in the powder characteristics of the cinnamon next is the starch grain these starch grains you can form in a pitted forms in a round and a circular position shapes next is the calcium oxalate crystals this calcium oxalate crystals you can found in the medullary rays with this type of shapes next is the oil glands or oil cells due to the presence of the cinema aldehyde these oil cells will show like this you can see the oil cells so this five powder characteristics you can see in a slide prepared with the powdered of cinnamomum xylenicum the five characteristics we can see in powder are the phloem fibers, calcium oxalate crystal, starch grain, oil gland and stone cells. These are the five powder characteristics of the cinnamon. So we have done first with the morphology of cinnamon, second with the TS of cinnamon and third with the powder characteristics of the cinnamon. Now 
comes to the point what are the important constituent of the cinnamon the important constituent are the volatile oil and the cinnamic aldehyde For the identification test, when extract alcoholic extract of cinnamon is treated with little 10% of ferric chloride, it will give the green color. And when the chloroform extract of cinnamon is treated with 10% of aqueous phenyl hydrazine, you will get the red color, which is the hydrazon of cinema aldehyde the main constituent of the cinnamon coming back to the uses and the pharmacological importance of the cinnamon the two important uses of the cinnamon are first is the carminative and second is the stomachic what is carminative it expel out the co2 gas and relieves the git what is stomachic it relieves the digestion and improve the appetite so these are the two uses of the cinnamon Okay, thank you so much. Please do watch our video of the practical tutorial and coming series on the channel Pharma Ignite. Thank you.